Making a gold tooth is very similar to making a gold crown or a gold bridge or a gold partial denture. They are all fabricated exactly the same way. It's just an issue of who does it, where it gets sent, and how it gets processed. The dentist will start uh, after he's diagnosed that gold will be necessary to fix a tooth. He will prep the tooth down to make adequate room for gold to be fitted over the top of the tooth. In order to do that, he will again prep the tooth and he will also take an impression or a, a mold of, of that tooth that will receive the gold. Once the impression has been taken, the impression there will be sent off to a dental laboratory. At these dental laboratories, they will actually be the ones constructing the gold tooth. What they do is they take the impression, they pour it up in a special stone-like material. Once it's been poured up in the stone material, they will use different sorts of wax to actually fabricate what the tooth is going to look like. Before the tooth is actually processed in gold, it will be constructed with wax to verify that it, the way it's going to fit, verify the bite, and certainly the cosmetics of it. Once it's been done in wax, they use a special procedure called casting, where they actually melt the wax away and replace it with gold. At that point, the laboratory makes a decision on how they, how they will fit the gold as well as what kind of gold. With gold crowns, there's lots of different sorts of metals that are incorporated in with the gold, and the lab will oftentimes make the determination of what will go in that. Once they've done that, they will process it, which is what the casting process is called. They will cast it, and then what they'll do is they'll go back and they'll look at the, the original mold to make sure that the fit is good and that the bite will be good as well as the way it looks. Once those things have been constructed, they will send it back to the dentist who will again seat the crown on the patient's tooth.